let's go ahead and just get started with some jumping jacks. The cats have definitely um, been very curious. So this place was on three levels. They've been very curious about the three levels. All right, let's take this into high knees, bringing those knees up nice and high. Hey, Stephanie, good to see you. Hey, Allison, good to see you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, uh, I was just, um, thanks to Laura. It's, this is like a little oasis. Everything else is crazy. Uh, there are boxes everywhere and like clothes everywhere. All right, let's turn these into butt kickers, bringing those heels up. High behind us. We've got 10 more seconds. All right, let's quiet all this jumping. Bring the feet wider than the hips, toes forward. Bending into one knee, bending into the other knee. Just getting that nice, big side lunge. And whatever leg you're on now that's bent, turn towards it. Find a low lunge. So bring at least one, if not both of your hands down. Drop your back knee. Take your fingers, interlace them on your front thigh, and just push your belly away from that thigh. So really stretching the left hip flexors. Take a breath in. And then exhale, hands down. Lift the back knee. Pull the foot in. Find that hamstring stretch. Ooh, and I've been really tight in my hamstrings. I don't know if it's all the stairs in this place or what, but yikes. Okay, let's come to the other side. Side lunge, other leg. Turn towards it. Find that low lunge. Hands down, back knee down, interlace the fingers. Ooh, push yourself away. And again, the main part of the stretch is in the back, front of hip. Bring the hands down, slide the back foot in, find your hamstring stretch. Let your head relax. You might even shake it on around. And then bend your knees and lift yourself up. Okay, anything else you need to do? Roll the shoulders out, grab a quick sip of hydration, whatever it is you need. And today's workout, we'll do between two and four strength exercises, and then we'll mix in 30 to 45 seconds of cardio between everything. So let's go ahead and start out with that mini loop band. And again, if you don't have one, one, let Allison know, Allison uh, Campbell of Truth. And uh, two, if you don't have one today, don't worry about it. We're actually going to take the band on the thighs. We're going to start towards one end of what would be our yoga mat. We're just going to take those big, side steps, walking forward, walking back. We've got eight of these in each direction. Remember, you want to keep your toes forward. You want to really sit low in your squat. And depending on how heavy the resistance of your mini loop band is, depends on how intense this feels or not. I think I've got, uh, I've got a heavy one on. I'm starting to feel it now. Stay low in that squat. Arms can be wherever you want. You can move them around. You can dance it out. Just staying low. We really want to feel those legs. We've got, once we get back to the top, we've got two more in each direction. Big wide steps. Again, hopefully you're feeling it. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Next time we come to our original starting place, we have one more round each way. All right, coming back to center, we're going to squat and heel raise, squat and heel raise. We have 20. Again, your arms can do anything that you want. You're sitting really low, spine stays nice and long. You're squeezing your butt as you come up. So you're really feeling really the whole of the lower body engaged in this action. And this isn't necessarily our cardio move rate. We're still in that strength world, so it doesn't have to be fast. More about that precision, dropping the heels, lifting the heels, sitting low, standing tall. You've got eight more. Of course, our core is tight. We're thinking about pulling that belly to the spine. Four more. Last two. Last one. Okay. Now comes our cardio. We're keeping the band on. We're taking our back squat. And I, unless you all have been injured, which I hope you haven't, 
You all are capable of jumping. I've seen you do it many times. So let's jump this out. 30 seconds. Find your wide squat, toes forward. 30 seconds, nice and fast. Here you go. Sitting low, standing tall. Just a little added bit of oomph with this mini loop band on. How wide can you go with your legs? How fast can you go? Getting that heart rate up. We are going to take the band off and we're done with this exercise. You still have five, four, three, two, one. Okay, slide that guy off. Grab a quick sip of hydration if you need to. Stretch out your legs if you need to. Wait. Grab your weight on the heavier side. I know most of the classes I teach, we're doing on the lighter side. This is on the heavier side. Still in the world of squats, we're gonna add some arms. We'll squat arms down, lateral arm raise out, down and up. No heel raise, feet flat. Feet don't have to be wide, they can be right under your hips. Here we go for 20. Really pushing out. And I know it's kind of hard unless you're doing this in front of a mirror to actually see how high your arms are going. But you wanna feel that your arms aren't going any higher than your shoulders. You're stopping yourself there. We've done five. This is where when you stand up, belly to spine, super helpful. 10 more to go, you can do this. Five more, you're breathing in, you're breathing out, you're feeling your shoulders and your arms. Last two, last one. Okay, turn to the side, right leg forward, left leg back. The weight in your right hand can rest on your right thigh. You're going to lean forward, weight in the left hand, palm in. We've got a low row up and a fly out. 10 of these. Core stays strong. Make sure you feel stable in your legs. I would bring the back heel down, almost like a warrior one. And here we go. Row, fly. Elbow close to the body, not low row. Arm really out to the side on that fly. Again, core tight. We're going to do a special core section at the very end. So if you're worried that you're not getting enough core in right now, don't you worry. Don't you fret, we will. Keeping that breath really strong. That arm when it reaches out for the flight, it doesn't have to go all the way to shoulder height. Taking it where it feels safe. Two more of each. One more of each. And then just flip around to the other side. Now your left weight can rest on your left side. Right hand has the weight. And here we go, row, fly. Palm faces in towards your left knee the whole time. Again, you're leaning forward at that angle. Your feet are driving down into the ground. I will say, being here in New Orleans, it actually rained for the first time since Monday, yesterday. So it's not necessarily hot right now, but it's definitely humid. <sighs> Wetting more than usual from compared to Oakland. We've got three more. Last two. Last one. Okay, final strength in this section and then we'll get to cardio. Find your plie squat, we'll chant our bar clasp. Palms forward, we've got a bicep curl, press, curl down, okay? Just 10 of these, stay low in your plie squat. If you wanna pull or heel raise, you can add that. Here we go, curl, press, curl down. And we aren't gonna rotate the arms. All we're doing is bending the elbows and then lifting the arms up. We've done three. Sit low in those hips. 
Halfway there, five more. <sighs> Upper arms stay close until that press. <sighs> Last two. Last one. Okay, ditch those weights. Cardio here. You can turn to the side or stay facing forward. Plyo lunges. We've got one, two, three, and then one, two, three hops in place. Switching for three, hopping in place for three. If this is too much on your knees, again, those of you that are here today, I've seen you jump, you normally don't have a problem with it, but if there's something going on today, instead of jumping, your mod is stepping back, and the in place is just a pulse instead of hopping off the feet, okay? Right leg forward, left leg back. We have 45 seconds for this guy. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 And we're just really doing threes so that we're switching legs. We're staying nice and wide, but that need in our lunges. Weights between the legs. We're over halfway there. Keep that breath moving. 10 more seconds. Last three. Two, one. Okay, shake it out. Let your heart rate come down. Sip some water. Okay, strength again. No equipment, just body weight. You could be on your mat or off your mat. I'm gonna come on my mat here. Finding plank. First move, shoulder taps, right to left. Remember, we're trying not to wiggle the lower body. Ways you can help yourself. Widen your feet, gives you a more stable place, or lower your knees, but keep your hips forward versus over your knees, okay? We have 20 total, 10 on each side. Stabilizing through the core and through the legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Stay in plank after this nine, 10. 30 second plank hold. Find your stillness, find your strength. Push your heels back, pull the belly in. Maybe tuck the tailbone a little bit. Activate the arms, activate the core, activate the legs. Everything is on. Breathing in, breathing out. Notice if your shoulders are rounded forward, pull them back. Last three, two, one. Drop your knees for a moment. Next move in plank, still strength. We're gonna take hamstring curls. 10 on the right leg, 10 on the left leg. Again, the mod here, if you need it, is bottom knee down, making this more of a tabletop position. But again, hips still forward so you get that core activation. Set up your plank. Nice and strong. Right leg is at hip height, and here we go. Flex foot, heel in, heel out for nine, eight, seven. How close can you get your heel into your butt? Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot down, left leg up, right into it, no break. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, come down. Last strength exercise on the mat or just on the floor. Leg lifts. Hands can be behind you. If you want to make this harder, arms forward. But what we're not doing is leaning back or hunching forward. We're really trying to stay upright, core engaged. We've got 10 leg lifts, so more quad, left hamstring, straight legs the whole time, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, and then 
Little bonus. We're going to bring the hands forward. We're going to lean forward a little bit. I would tent on the fingers, lifting both legs up. We'll hold for 10 seconds, take it down. We'll do that three times, okay? Sit upright first, wherever you need your hands to be. Challenge hands off. Flex your feet right leg first. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Only that leg is moving. 6, 5, 4, 3. Deceptively hard, right? 2, 1, 10 on the left. We sometimes do this in yoga bar, usually with our legs wider. Four more, and then we have both legs. And again, we're going to lean forward a little bit. Last one. Okay. Hands to the ground if they were off. Lean forward a little bit. Think about belly to the spine. You can round your back ever so slightly. Pushing down into the ground. Squeeze the legs together. Lift both legs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brief rest. Second round. Set up your hands. Pull the belly to the spine. Lift the legs, stay 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Last round, best round. Hands down, lift the legs, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs down. Anything you need to stretch, you can lay down, stretch long. You can move the legs in the hip socket. You could stretch through the quads and hip flexors, and of course, grabbing water. Okay, no cardio that round. We'll stand it back up. Okay, next cardio. Grab your glides. While we are standing back up, we're really standing back up to come to the ground. Glide down. We're coming into mountain climbers fast. Right, left, right, left, okay? 45 seconds with this. Then we're going to add a 15 second bonus of right leg to the left arm, left leg to the right arm, 15 seconds each for that, okay? Find your plank, make sure you have enough space for your glides and for your legs. You could do this on your forearms if you need. 45 seconds starts now. How close can you pull your knees into your chest? Your back stays elongated. Your core stays supporting that back, and your legs are moving fast. You should start to feel your quads. Push, pull, push, pull. That's the action. 15 more seconds, and then we'll single the leg and twist. The rest is strong. You got this. Last three, two, one, right leg to left arm, 15 seconds. Find that whole lead crunch. I like to push the air through my mouth every time I bend my knee. Last three, two, one, left leg. Push, pull. Woo, feeling that burn. We will actually stand up after this. We'll keep working with the glides. Then we'll finish on the mat, on our backs. Last three, two, one. Come on up. Again, let your heart rate come down, whatever you need in order to do that, whether it's a stretch, a little walk around your room, or hydration. Okie doke. Glides for legs. Glide under either. Foot. I'm going to start with the glide under my left foot. First round of 10. We're going to bend into the right knee uh, or the standing leg if you start on the other side. Glide leg stays straight. We push it out. We pull it in. The standing leg is bending and straightening. This is the easier version. We usually don't do this one. Then we're going to take it to the harder version. Bending into the glide leg, squeezing it up for 10. And then we'll finish off turning towards the standing leg, gliding back, pulling in for 10. Okay? Do a lot of work for your standing leg. 10, 10, 10. Start with a bent standing leg. Slide your glide leg out. It stays straight. All 10 toes forward. Here we go. Squeeze it in. Push it out for nine, eight, seven, six, 
Big movement, five, four, three, two, one. Now you've got to switch your brain. Your weight's going to the glide leg. It bends, squeeze to straighten. Your standing leg now, it's like a peg leg. Imagine that leg is made of wood. It can't bend. Five more. As big as you can go out. Last two. Last one. Turn towards your standing leg. Back lunge. Glide leg stays straight or as straight as you can get it. For nine. Front knee as much over the angle as possible. So think weight back. Anything you want to do with your arms. Last three. Two, one. Okay, before the other side, grab your weights again. Grab those weights. Overhead triceps. Weights can touch or stay shoulder width apart. We've got overhead tricep extension. Bend the elbows pushing up two calf raises. One tricep extension overhead, two calf raises, okay? Pull the ribs and belly in. Relax the shoulders down. Make sure there's space between your ears and the tops of your shoulders. And here we go. One tricep, two calf raises. Again, we're not going for speed. We're going for control and power. Inhale down, exhale up. We have 12 of these. We've done three. Think about the core. Again, even though this isn't a core exercise per se, Arms stay by the ears. And if you have heavy weights, this should feel challenging to push the arms back overhead. We want to feel that challenge with those heavier weights. There's more resistance. Four more to go. Last one. All right, team. Take those weights down. Stretch the arms as you need to. Stretch the calves as you need to. Maybe stretch both at the same time. And then last standing exercise we'll do is the other leg with the glides. So remember, we start out non-glide leg is bending and straightening for 10. Then we do the opposite. The glide leg is bending and straightening for 10. Then we turn to the standing leg, back lunge with the glide. Okay, 10, 10, 10. Here we go, belly to the spine, hinging at the hips for 10, 9, 8, 7. Push out, pull in, 6. Like we still have those mini loop bands on. Imagine there's tension. Last three. Two, one. Now you have to switch your brain. You're going towards the glide leg. Weight goes there. Squeeze and pull it in. Standing knee doesn't buckle. The more you push down in the standing leg, the easier this is to keep the leg straight and strong. We're halfway there. Three more. Then that back lunge. Last one. All right, turn towards the standing leg, standing knee over ankle, slide it back as straight as you can get that glide leg. One, two, keeping that spine really long. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you can move the glide out of the way. It's like you moved your mat out of the way. Bring it back into your little realm. We'll come to a seat. Have your weights handy. We'll finish about the last five minutes or so with some core. Sitting up, either holding one weight or both. Exhale up, twist right, left or left, right, and then come down. No punches with this. 
just adding that Russian twist. If you need more, you have two weights. 10 total, here we go. Exhale up, twist, twist, lower down. Belly to spine, anchoring your heels or your flat foot, whatever feels more stable to you. Exhale when you come up. We're at the halfway point. Weights again are just adding resistance, just making this a smidge harder than if we didn't have weights. The next time you come up, stay up. One weight or two, you decide. Bring the weight forward or weights. Lift your legs. Think boat pose. We stay 15 seconds. Shoulders down the back, spine long. If you want more, straight legs. If you want less, feet down. Proud chest. We're going to lay all the way down in three, two, one. Release the weight by your side. Hands beside the hips, legs up. We have right leg, left leg scissor kick. Both legs together, two reverse crunches. Try not to use momentum, okay? 10 times through, here we go. Right, left, both, crunch, crunch. Right, left, both, crunch, crunch. Your legs don't have to be stick straight, but see if you can engage through the legs. So the more you push through the heels or point through the toes, the easier it is to get closer to straight legs, to feel like your legs are a part of the action. They're a part of the strengthening. Over halfway there. Three more. Last one. Okay, keep the legs overhead. Make a fist with your hands. Twist outside of the left leg. Lower your right leg in an L and just stay here and hold 15 seconds. Can you lift your shoulders off the ground? Can you reach farther past your left leg? Breathing in, breathing out. You have five, four, three, two, one. Lay down, other side, outside of the right, left leg hovers, shoulders lift, belly to spine. Can you lift higher? Can you reach farther? Last five, four, three, two, one. One, feet together, knees wide, hands behind the head. We'll finish here with 20 crunches. Belly to spine, low back down. Here we go. Exhale up for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Feeling that core, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Stay five. Four, three, two, one. Relax the head. Stretch your arms and legs in opposite directions. However you want, bring yourself to stand. And we'll finish with our tried and true two breaths. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, take your arms down. One more time. Big breath in. And big breath out.